Ho, ho, ho. All my clothes are laundry. All my socks are full of holes. I've got TP in my hat band and cardboard in my soles. I've stuffed the want ad section underneath my long john shirt. And my jacket's held together by dehorning blood and dirt. And the leather on my bridle's been fixed so many times. My horse looks like that fence post where we hang the baler twine. When I bought that horse, he was as good as most around. But when I sold him last month, he brought 13 cents a pound. I've been unable lately to invest in purebred cows since my ex-wives and their lawyers are dependents of mine now. See, my first wife took my saddle, and the second skinned my hide, and the third one got my deer head, and the last one took my pride. I've had a run of bad luck, but I think it's going to peak because my dog that used to bite me <laughs> got run over just last week. So all I want for Christmas is whatever you can leave, but I'd settle for a new wife who would stay through New Year's Eve. <laughs> it's Christmas time when we celebrate the birth of Christ. More than 80% of Americans believe in God, and that's more people than have lawyers or drive foreign cars or pay income tax. Well, how can such a high percentage of our modern civilized population believe in an omnipotent being? Well, our entire concept of God exists by faith. It's not complicated. When I'm asked if I really believe Christ was born of a virgin, I say, of course. If I can believe in something as outrageous and unbelievable as God, I can surely believe Jesus was his son. And for the vast majority of us who do believe, Christmas is the recognition of something bigger than ourselves. It reminds us that Jesus was born to save the world, and he has. Merry Christmas, and God bless you from out there.